trout and <laughs> lost three flies and two liters in a tree. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing today. Um, paying the price for, I don't know, lazy, sloppy, eh, not great fishing. Although to be fair, the spot is very difficult to cast for fly fishing. It's um, roll cast only, um, and I'm not particularly skilled at fly casting um, in general, and because I'm a beginner, and this is only my second time really ever fishing for, for fly fishing, and it was also thunderstorming, like raining and windy, it was about to thunderstorm, but I still caught a 6-incher and a 10-incher, so that was pretty cool, and, and I caught another one, but then it took my fly. But that's cool. Anyway, I'm on my way to Cabela's to pick up some gear, um, and also return some stuff I have. Just thought I'd make a little, um, I don't know, intro video vlog type thing, just to get some footage. Um, oh my gosh, I'm in construction, because, yeah, and it's raining. Um, anyway, and this is not a camera mount. It's my phone on my, like, little, uh, phone guy. It's probably gonna fall off. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get, I'm hoping to get, like, a GoPro so I can film fishing, because that's kind of the point of this channel. Um, I'm going to get a GoPro. I just have to do some research and get one. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I'm addicted to fishing. Something that I probably knew was gonna happen, but I didn't when I started this fishing journey a few months ago. I mean, I started in February, like I got some stuff for my birthday for my dad and haven't been fishing because it was winter um, in Wisconsin. And then um, I had school and coronavirus, just a lot of uh, things making it difficult, but I went out last week for my first time with my dad. He uh, has been fishing for 20 years, fly fishing. He's very good. He knows the spots. Um, and took me to, geez, took me to this great little stream and we caught my first ever trout was a 10, no, a 12 inch brown trout. That was pretty awesome. It was a fish for sure. And I was just like, Oh, this is how it always is. Like, yippee, but no, it's not. It's still pretty cool. Um, I caught eight fish my first time out, but that's because I had a pretty good guide. Um, and then today, yeah, I caught three. Well, caught two, landed. Caught, hooked three, landed two. Um, before I got stormed out. Where is the turn? I think I missed the turn. Let me get to Cabela's. Mm, oh, well. There. Maybe. But, yeah. Um, what am I talking about? Fishing, beginning fishing. Oh, yeah. So, I've only been out fly fishing like twice. I mean, I've gone, like, I've just been practice casting with, like, like panfish poppers on the shore at, like, local parks, but I don't know what I'm doing and I don't appear to be any fish. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty excited to spend the summer fishing and exploring areas I've never been to, places I've heard about. Um, it's just really cool to be able to just go to places like these little, they seem little, little bodies of water um, and these little tiny eco, not tiny, but these ecosystems that are existing, right? Um, where you go and drive every day and then you get to just see parts of them that you don't normally see. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I just think it's so cool. Um, and I I got a book yesterday that was on the fish, the fish guide of um, Wisconsin. I hope you can hear any of this. It's so loud with the rain and the construction. Um, but it was a fish of Wisconsin book, and there are so many fish I was not aware lived in Wisconsin. For someone who's lived here for 26 years, um, and has been fishing, I mean, I, oh, I didn't miss the turn. I stopped fishing when I was like, I don't know, 13, because I moved off of the lake. And, but I grew up fishing. I've done a lot of fishing, but really only in like a couple lakes. And they only have a certain 
some species like I don't know walleye, perch, bluegill, crappie, carp. Nothing, you know. I've like I caught like one pike in my life, and it was like on a whim, I think. So, um, just I didn't realize there was like bowfin. I think those are probably pretty not as common. But I really want to catch a bowfin. Um, I need to research that. I mean, that's like a mission. Bowfin a mission. I don't know if people like to catch them. Probably not. I don't know if you can eat them. Um, oh, she's she's coming down. I think there's a tornado watch. So hopefully Cabela's has a bunker. Um, but yeah, other fish. Um, oh, what is it called? Gar? Those are fucking weird. Anyway, um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go and fish. I'm gonna fish. No. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to Cabela's and get some gear. Spend too much money. Do they sell GoPros at Cabela's? I hope not. Because I'm gonna get one. They do. Oh, I could go to Best Buy. Oh, my girlfriend's gonna be like, you went out to get fishing gear and you came back with the GoPro. Oh no. Now I've, now I've, now the wheels are turning in my head. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll film in, in Cabela's. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Uh, 
hot, hot pink ladies. Um, because those were the two that I got, like my first starter flies, and they are both what was working today. Um, th I wanted some uh, PMDs, but they didn't have any, and they were like sold out of a lot of stuff. So I got some. I got some flies, and I got like some caddis flies. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, if anyone, if anyone knows what they're doing, please tell me what I'm doing. What I should do. Like I'm reading books, and I'm doing some research. And from what I can tell, nymphing is often um, productive. Um, and so that's just what I'm trying to do. I don't. I don't know. I really. That's like another thing, if you're watching these videos and you're like, damn, that guy does not know what the fuck he's doing. You are right. I do not know what I'm doing. So, um, you know, if you have any tips or pointers, please tell me. Please, if you see me doing something and you're like, don't, that, this could, let's just don't do that, or you could be doing it as better, please tell me. Um, but please don't, like, you don't need to be like, oh, you suck because I'm aware. I know. I know that there's many things that I'm just making rookie mistakes and just doing like no-brainer mistakes. Um, but I'm learning. It's my first fly fishing season. My second time out was today. It's it's a beginner's channel. So hopefully this journey. This is a, hopefully there's a journey here. Hopefully I take a journey to getting better. So, there's a car right next to me and I feel uncomfortable, but I'm gonna go, and when I get home, I will do a little mini haul. Alright y'all, I'm in my garage, so, um, quality's shit, but don't worry about that. So, here's what I got. I got a bunch of leaders. Um, considering I'm shitty at fishing, and I break them, or lose them, or whatever, I don't know, throw them in a garbage can, for fun, I don't really do that, but, um, I got one really nice one, um, an Umpqua, um, four, or, yeah, nine, nine foot, four times, is that how you say it? I don't know, um, that's what... I've seen people using. I also got what I have been using, which is just the Rio um, nine foot three times. Uh, good, good old three pack. That's what I lost a bunch of. Um, and then I got a nice little value pack Cabela's brand nine foot four times. <laughs> These I'm assuming are pretty not great. Um, uh, nylon. Mm, I don't know. They probably have lots of memory or some type of other shitty thing, shitty design that makes them not as good, but since I break them and lose them, I think value's better. Um, I also got a, um, what's it called? The, like, retractor thing, because, um, I use my clippers a lot because I break everything and need to re-tie them. I, and I also, I mean, everybody uses them a lot, so I shouldn't be so hard on myself, but those are cool. I was gonna get one of the, like, really nice, like, rotating ones, but I was like, nah, let's be cheap. I also got a 12-pack of Caddisfly, size 12, um, Tan Elk Hair, just the Cabela's brand. Um, I have not done, I've done a little reading and research on what the heck flies are for. Uh, yeah, I know what they're for, but, like, which flies to use when, and the whole, um, cycle from nymph to rise. I don't know. I don't know terminology, but <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I need to learn more, but I figured it'd be handy to have those. I also got some strike indicator stick ons because the ones I'm using are really kind of annoying. Um, I'm sure there's a reason why these are not as good, but I don't know that reason yet, so I'm just gonna use them and see what happens. Um, and I also got um, a bunch of flies. I'm not gonna show you them all, but just. Uh, I don't know, probably like 10, 12, 12 mix, mixed size copper johns and um, hot pink ladies. So yeah, that's everything I got. I'm going to go in. I don't know if I'm going to film anymore, if this is just going to be um, a little vlog channel intro. But if you are watching, thank you. And 
Um, if you have any <laughs> tips for fly fishing in Wisconsin, please let me know. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.